Through almost 25 years of Big Brother, we have seen a lot of things, but the one thing that we haven't seen is a two-time winner. There have only been seven winners that have returned to play Big Brother, and of those seven former winners, none of them were able to reach victory again. But that's not to say it wasn't ever close. Both Dr. Will and Jordan Lloyd made it to the final four in which, crazily enough, they were going to be the favorites to win again if they made it to the final three. Nicole Franzel made it all the way to third place before being evicted at the 11th hour, and the closest that we've gotten was Dan Giesling, who made it all the way to the final two for a second time, but lost in a vote of six to one. So over 50% of the times that a winner has come back to play the game, they've been in a position where they were close to being crowned the first two-time winner, so it's only a matter of time before somebody finally figures it out and closes the deal. I've looked through all the past Big Brother winners and I've come up with who I believe are the five winners that would have the best shot at potentially winning it all again. So without further ado, let's get started. Will, it looked like you were on your way to win this game for a second time. You manipulated everyone all summer. How is it that the puppet master lost control? Listen, you, you can do the best you can. To start things off, I feel like I've got a pretty safe pick. The first player that I believe could be the first two-time winner of Big Brother is... Xavier from Big Brother 23. Although Xavier does have some things going against him, like being a pretty high profile winner and an obvious threat to win it all, there is reason to believe that he would do well on a return. For starters, Xavier is extremely likable and would have an easy time getting into a strong majority alliance. In Big Brother 23, Xavier was constantly being included in practically all of the early game alliances, and he also had the veto used on him twice by other players, and I could definitely see that type of social game carrying over on a return season. Secondly, Xavier is very good at competitions. While he chose to throw a lot of the comps in Big Brother 23, Xavier showed the ability to win seemingly every time he wanted to or needed to. All three of his veto wins came at very clutch times, so Xavier has shown that if his back is up against the wall, even just a little bit, he has the ability to absolutely crush the competitions in order to keep himself safe. And lastly, I think Xavier is just the type of person that would win if he sits at the end next to practically anybody. That was the case in Big Brother 23, and I could see that translating here as well. So when you put it all together, I feel that Xavier could instantly find himself in a strong majority, and as long as he can survive the beginning stages of the game, I could very much see a possibility where he beasts his way through the end game, takes an easy opponent to the end, and is crowned the first two-time winner of Big Brother. Although he is definitely more of a known threat than some of the other players that I'll talk about today, I think he has what it takes to overcome it, and I therefore have him high on my list of winners that would do well on a return. All right, it's time for match two, Xavier versus Brent. The room number for my round is two, five, and six, so I know that I've got a knockdown. One, three, and four. On my first roll, I hit five. Damn it. Although this is likely the player with the hardest path to the win, she did it once, and I could see her do it again. So the next winner that I think could win for a second time is the winner of Big Brother 24, Taylor Hale. Now, of course, we need to address the elephant in the room in that Taylor would most likely beat anybody in the final two based on legacy alone, and I'm sure that everyone in that house would know it, which would make her a massive target in someone that people wouldn't want to bring to the very end of the game. But... I don't think that makes it a done deal that she couldn't win it again. For starters, when Taylor played on Big Brother 24, she did not show the type of traits that would typically make a player fail on a return. She wasn't sneaky, she wasn't really dishonest, and she wasn't a backstabber. With all of those things, I think that would make her a desirable ally to have in the house, and people would want to work with her, at least in the beginning. Next up, her portrayal on the edited shows never really showed off her game moves in Big Brother 24, and that could definitely be used to her advantage as it may make it so that other players don't know just how much of a gamer that she could really be. Another thing to take into account is the fact that Taylor is pretty much the most popular player to have played in the last decade, at least in a viewer standpoint. And whether you like it or not, that will probably have an influence on the players playing alongside her. Everyone saw the reception that people got when they went up against Taylor in Big Brother 24, and nobody wants that for themselves. So why not try and team up with America's favorite winner? I think Taylor would find so much more success in terms of finding people to work with than she did in her original season, and that'll help her get further into the game. None of this is to say that Taylor would only win due to handouts, but instead, we could consider it some good karma finally coming back to help her out on a return season. If Taylor could avoid an early exit due to being such a huge target, all she'd need to do would be to win a couple of endgame comps, and before you know it, Taylor could definitely become the first two-time winner in the show's history. Yes, Taylor! Who wants to drink 
Season where? Ah, finally mine! Who's ready for Taylor's reign of terror? Up next, I'm not gonna lie, I might lose some of you. This is without a doubt going to be my hardest sell, but I'm gonna try. So, the next winner that I think could become the first two time winner is the big man from Big Brother 19, Josh Martinez. And no, I promise I'm not joking. There are three main reasons why I think this could happen. Reason number one, since winning Big Brother 19, Josh has gotten into really good shape. The Josh you remember from this season is not the same Josh that he looks today. Reason number two, surprisingly to some, but Josh's social game has definitely improved since his time on Big Brother 19. Although yes, he definitely gets into his fair share of fights on the challenge, Josh has actually shown a fairly strong ability to create strong bonds with a lot of the players that he plays with. And he's very loyal, which would make him a really good ally and help him go far for a second time around. And reason number three, which is probably the most important reason, is that Josh is not remembered as a threat. Although he is a winner, most players don't think of Josh as a threat to win again. The perceived level of respect that a jury might have for him probably wouldn't be that high in the minds of the other players, which would make it all the more likely that A, Josh wouldn't be targeted, and B, it could make Josh an ideal person to sit next to in the final two. Both of these reasons would then allow Josh the time to really establish his roots in the game, set up his end game plan, and I could definitely see a world where Josh can just win a couple comps towards the end of the game, bring the right person to the end, and actually be crowned the first two-time winner. And I promise, I am not joking right now. I really do think that Josh would not be taken seriously on a return until it was too late. And as long as he could stay out of trouble and not make himself more of a target than he needs to be, I could see him going far. Out of all of the former winners, Josh has the most drastic, new and improved storyline going for him, and he could be seriously underestimated. So Kevin has been evicted, and that means one thing, baby. I'm in final three. Final three. This is the best feeling in the world. I was the underdog the whole season. You all played yourselves. Oh my God. This is... <laughs> Mi familia. I made it to top three. Now, up next, one player that I really do believe could come back and probably have the easiest time going for the win is Casey Clark, the winner of Big Brother 20. To start, Casey is the type of player that could easily find herself in the majority alliance. She has shown to be one of the most consistent and capable endgame competitors of all time, and she's not really the type that I feel would be targeted as an early threat, which, in my opinion, is completely insane given her track record post Big Brother. For those that don't want any past challenge seasons spoiled for them, then don't listen for the next 10 seconds. Otherwise, here it is. Since winning Big Brother, Casey has been on four seasons of the challenge. She made it to the finale of the first three seasons that she was on, and she walked away as the winner of season 37. So she is clearly shown to be incredibly consistent and skilled at these types of shows. And unless she's considered to be the biggest threat on the board walking into a second season of Big Brother, I could totally see her making a deep run. The biggest thing going against Casey would be if the other players recognize her for the physical threat that she is and targets her early, but if she can survive it, I can totally see her winning out in a similar fashion to what she did in Big Brother 20, and as long as she's sitting next to the right person in the end, I can definitely see Casey becoming a two-time winner of Big Brother. Do I want that? Eh, no, not really, mostly because I do find her a bit boring, but it would be impressive nonetheless. Congratulations, Casey! You win the power of Vito for third time in yes. a row! <laughs> Woo! Three times in a row, baby! I might as well just keep this on at all times. Now, the last player I have on my list is an old school winner, and it's likely not who you think it is. While I originally planned on having June on this list in this spot, the more I looked into it, I felt that June could find herself in a tricky spot at any point in the game, and without the competitive consistency that a lot of past winners have shown, I am not as confident in June saving herself every time that her back is up against the wall. So instead, to the possible shock of many, I have the winner that followed June. Drew Daniel from Big Brother 5. For starters, Drew is absolutely underrated in the grand scheme of Big Brother winners. In Big Brother 5, Drew was great physically. He was unbelievably good socially, and strategically, he was no slouch either. But because he was kind of boring, he's not really remembered as a top-tier player, and I think that that would play to his advantage as he wouldn't be viewed as a big target. 
Now, even though it seems as though Drew has dropped off the face of the earth in regards to Big Brother, he actually hasn't. You see, while I was filming a YouTube member exclusive video last summer, I stumbled upon a website that Drew owns. And on the website, he has a section called Big Brother Thoughts. After clicking on that, I had discovered that not only was Drew still watching Big Brother, but he was actively writing insightful blurbs about each week and giving his overall thoughts as each episode was coming out. I really feel like I stumbled upon the jackpot here, as I had just considered it fact that since winning Big Brother, Drew stepped away from the spotlight and never thought about Big Brother again, but I couldn't have been more wrong. So, not only do we know that Drew still keeps up with the show, but some of his thoughts were quite thought-provoking and gave me a bit of confidence that Drew wouldn't come into the scene and look like a fish out of water, and would instead understand how the new game is played and adapt accordingly. He still looks like he could be in good shape, and I bet under the right circumstances, Drew could be a dark horse to blend in long enough before making some endgame moves and sneaking away with the crown. Maybe Drew wouldn't necessarily be a top 5 contender for the win compared to other past winners, and maybe he'd have a harder time fitting in with some of the more recent players, but I sure bet that he'd be underestimated, and being underestimated can be a very dangerous thing in the Big Brother house. So, Drew is my wildcard pick. I walked outside, and the first thing I saw was this huge flame just go... Oh, ah! Looked like a flame from hell. Check it out! Check it out. Um, I got like every t-shirt on my rack. I was so happy. I had such cool clothes on my on my rack, so many cool brands and t-shirts that uh I'm totally pumped with what I got. Now, before we close, none of this is to say that there aren't other past winners that could come back and win for a second time. I could see Jordan finding herself in a position where she makes it far and is up against the right opponent in the final two. Rachel always has the possibility of fighting her way to the end, and she's definitely got a good shot to win if she's there. And, of course, there's always the possibility of any past winner going on a ridiculous comp streak and being awarded the crown at the end of it all. But these five are just the players that I think would be the most likely to come back and possibly win a second time. But that's just my opinion. If you disagree, please let me know and tell me why in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the list. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you're interested, consider checking out Movie Palette and use my code ethanamil 15 to get 15% off your purchase. New products have just come in, so consider checking it out. My link is in the description. I, of course, need to give that extra special shout out to all of my YouTube members who very well could be that first two-time winner. They just haven't gotten the opportunity yet. And as always, here's a clip for you on your way out. If this is what he looks like now, that's not the worst. I don't know. I really don't know. He has a category on Big Brother Thoughts? Wait. This is recent. This is like five days. What did we stumble upon? What the heck? This is genuinely extremely interesting. If this is written by him. I had no idea. Um, okay, that is... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is not something that I expected. What the heck? I thought he was off the the face of the earth, and apparently he's writing about Big Brother now, and I haven't seen anybody talk about that. What the f***? That's crazy. Sorry, I'm mind blown. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with Drew then, I guess, for sure.